Hey guys, what's up? It's Jamie here. I know it's a little dark, but I'm sitting outside on this beautiful patio in Charleston, South Carolina, where I'm celebrating uh, one of my siblings getting their diploma, which is really exciting. But today uh, has been a really big adventure, and I wanted to do two videos. The first video is going to be on the, su the success that I had at the airport. And the second video is going to be about my uh, today's tea day. So I'm doing my weekly update at uh, just over two months on tea. So basically, I was expecting to have a very traumatic, long experience at the airport. Um, I went to JFK, JetBlue. <laughs> <clears throat> Terminal 5 and I had TSA pre I was trying to get as emotionally prepared as possible and physically prepared with identification and doctor's letters and everything I would need just in case you know something went down and honestly I was in the door through security and over to the gate in maybe 20 minutes it was painless I mean I double bind I full body bind and I didn't set off anything. And, you know, they just didn't question my ID, nothing. It was, it was just so easy. And I'm just <clears throat> so grateful that, you know, I didn't have my first airport experience um, as a, a, openly as a trans man, um, you know, just being really crappy and you know, getting dysphoric and basically feeling violated. So I think it definitely helps that I had this big voice drop. <clears throat> Excuse me. But anyway, um, yeah, so then I ended up being, like, really brave because I had a really big delay at the airport, like, o just over two hours. And I was there super early anyway because I wanted to leave time in case anything went down at the airport when I was trying to get to the gate. So obviously I had to go use the restroom. <laughs> and um, I like successfully was able to like, you know, walk in, stand, do my business in the stall and like get out and not feel like dysphoric or out of place or nobody said anything to me, nobody looked at me. Nobody touched me. It was just in and out, and it was terrifying and exhilarating at the same time. But um, eventually I'll work up to a urinal, but I feel like I've come so far, and I just feel so <clears throat> lucky that I was able to have such a safe experience when there are so many, particularly women, of uh, trans women of color, who, you know, are getting the crap kicked out of them and they're getting violated in, in these public restrooms and, you know, I was just able to go in and out, so. I mean, obviously it should just be an automatic, like, obvious, everybody should be able to go in and out of whatever restroom they want, but given the fact that it's 